Welcome back to the first official episode of ADHD for Grownups. Today we're going to talk about ADHD and dopamine and what the connection is between the two. All right, so what is dopamine exactly? It's actually a neurotransmitter and a hormone, and they're made by your brain. It's this, get this laser pointer. It's this structure right here. It's this chemical structure. It's highly associated with the reward center in your brain, and it's highly associated with motivational salience, which is basically just an umbrella term for all of these things. So if you produce enough or a lot of dopamine, um, you will be better with have, keeping your attention, you'll be better with making goals, you'll have more motivation, and you're going to be better with risk assessment. So assessing the risk of a situation and deciding if you actually want to make those risks or not. I'd first like to kind of show what is happening inside of your brain when dopamine is being released. So you probably recognize this structure here. This is called a neuron. They're found inside your brain. Neurons exchange messages between each other. And when I say messages, I mean neurotransmitters. So this is going to be the presynaptic neuron, and this is the postsynaptic neuron, and this is the synaptic cleft. Pre and post, just referring to the synaptic cleft, which is basically just the space between neurons where messages are exchanged. So the presynaptic neuron is going to release neurotransmitters, aka messages, into the synaptic cleft, and the postsynaptic neuron is going to accept them. So looking up close, the presynaptic neuron, hey you up, I've got these dopamines for you. Postsynaptic neuron, yup, send them through. Presynaptic neuron sends them into the cleft, and then the postsynaptic neuron is going to accept them, and a cascade of reactions are going to happen inside the brain. So let's take a look at what's going to happen in a normal, quotations, neurotypical brain um, with dopamine. So let's say this person with a normal brain experiences a pleasurable, positive, or exciting experience. So maybe they ate something really great, or maybe they were studying for a test and then they got a great score on that test because they studied. So what's going to happen is your brain is going to release a bunch of dopamine, and then your brain is going to remember that because the dopamine is also uh, highly associated with memory. So now, a responsibility or obligation comes up and the brain's gonna be like I got this releases dopamine leads to motivation now let's see what happens with dopamine in an ADHD brain so again let's say this person experiences something really cool and positive but the brain's not gonna respond by producing a lot of dopamine it'll produce maybe a little bit if any so then the brain's gonna be like okay well that was a waste of my time because if you remember what I said at the beginning, dopamine is highly associated with the reward center in your brain. So in a normal brain, like we just saw, if your brain is producing a lot of dopamine when something great happens, it's going to remember that and it's going to want to produce it again and you're going to have motivation to do it. I'm sure you can guess what happens in an ADHD brain when a responsibility and obligation comes up. The brain's going to be like, yeah, okay, and it's not going to want to do it. It's going to be very hard for you to find that motivation, to find the energy to actually go and do the responsibility or obligation. So, of course, procrastination and lack of motivation ensues. So, if you have ADHD and you struggle with dopamine production, how can you increase it? The first obvious choice is ADHD medication. You have some choices, and I will definitely talk about this in another episode, but uh, first there are stimulants, which have immediate release and extended release. Some examples of these are Adderall, Concerta, Ritalin, and Vyvanse. And then there are the non-stimulants. Some examples of these are Stratera and Welbutrin. Another way that you can increase dopamine production is goal setting and list making. I have another quick TikTok video that I have on this channel, and I will put the link to that in the description so you can check that out. So if you watched this all the way through, congratulations for having sustained attention. It'd be super cool if you left a comment. Have you found other ways to motivate yourself without medication or doing the list making and goal setting like I mentioned earlier? If so, please share that in the comments. I'm sure other people would love to see what others do to keep themselves motivated. 
Also, I'd super appreciate a like and subscribe. I hope to be posting more videos soon. I just got done with my fourth semester of grad school, so I have a little more free time now to make some videos. So more should be coming up really soon. Thanks for watching.